Okay folks, I haven't seen anything about ceramic coating on a sled yet on the internet and I went and got this thing ceramic coated the other day. Brand new sled, ceramic coated, right? Yes sir. Hmm. And it's even shinier than new. Very nice. We'll see see how it looks when it gets out. Yeah. Yeah, it is there nice. You go. I Pull it out. Where's the best spot on this side of the car? I think that's fine. Right. Shiny. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's probably probably cleaner than new. It is. Cleaner than new. That's how they should look. Not that it isn't. I don't want to talk myself out of a job, Yeah, yeah. But that's how they should look. Well, it is new, so I shouldn't even say cleaner than new because it is new. It is new as we can see here. And I know that I think that's trip odometer. How do you get to I don't even know how to get to the odometer? The odometer, there we are. Hours. There you go. There it is. 159. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I had so you're pretty close. Yeah. I didn't realize I had an hour or an hour meter. Cool. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Don't want to let it go past that two minutes of don't let it idle time. Uh, yeah, it's so glossy. Yeah. 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 And our little tip here, I'm putting the PPF where the two up seat's going to sit. Hmm. Oh, thanks, dude. Hey, no problem I, at all. No problem. <laughs> Cool. Um, what uh, what you can see here is it definitely looks new, and it might look better better than new. Now the idea behind this is that hopefully it stays looking a little bit newer, longer, a little bit of protection here, but also that because it's hydrophobic, this ceramic coating, that maybe the snow will stick to it a little less, reducing a little bit of weight down the road. So uh, I'm gonna go for a break-in ride here today. It's a pretty warm day. And uh, at the end of it all, we'll take a look and see uh, if it looks like it's got any less snow on it than you would typically expect, I guess. Although I don't really have much experience with where the snow would stick on this chassis here, coming off of a Skidoo XP chassis. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see just how how that all turns out. But anyway, I'll do a quick little walk around here just so that you can see, make your own judgments, I guess, on if it's uh, if it's any cleaner looking than than from new. I'd say it's a little bit shinier. Uh, the nice thing with it, though, is it did get the plastic ceramic coated and um, the matte finished parts don't look too glossy, which is what I was scared of. And uh, you'll see here that I would say that it's it's not too glossy. The glossy stuff is still glossy. The matte stuff is still matte. Um, yeah, and the other thing too, I guess, that I wanted to point out was that I had a little bit of PPF put on right here. That's because I do have the two up seat for when my child and wife might want to come for a ride i still have to put that bracket on but i was worried about the bracket scratching up the paint here because once the bracket's on it'll probably stay on and obviously there's going to be varying amounts of weight on there rubbing away at the paint on the tunnel so just by putting this hopefully this is picking up here i'll try to get in a little closer um just by putting that little bit on where that bracket goes, hopefully that helps save the tunnel a little bit. I would 
toyed around with the idea of going PPF on the whole tunnel, but didn't have, the guy that does the ceramic coating didn't have a lot of the PPF and um, looking at it, it might be a complicated thing to do paint protection on due to the rivets and all the different uh, textures, I guess, going on along the side of the tunnel and up onto the top of the tunnel. It's not exactly a flat surface, so it's probably why most people just do the wrapping. But if there is pre-cut PPF, I'd be interested in knowing about, about that and maybe applying that. I don't really want to put a wrap on yet, especially because, you know, you pay, you pay the extra money when you get the thing to have the painted tunnel. So I'd rather not bother covering it up yet seeing as how that's something extra that you you and I and everybody is paying for these days so with uh, no further ado I guess we'll go for a ride I'll film a little bit of this ride still breaking in so it's gonna be like break-in type throttle variation here and uh, we're getting close to the end so yeah here we go going for a ride Okay, we've done, um, I haven't uh, recorded any of the riding yet. It's mostly been hard pack trail riding up to this point, but we've done about 12 kilometers on that and you can see how much snow is sticking. And it, again, it's a, it's a sticky snow today, like good snowball making snow, just a light, light pack there. And um, so a nice, it's about one, it's about zero degrees Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. Anyway, um, so right at the right at the freeze here. Uh, again, being a sticky snow and not having this chassis long, somebody you can you can let me know if um, if there's spots on this where things would tend to snow would tend to accumulate. I just threw that right into the brake the brake uh, cooling didn't I um, anyway okay all right going for a little bit of a ride I was going off trail a little bit, not off, off trail, but just playing in the junk along the side. And uh, that's what's sticking. So again, I'm not sure, not sure what, uh, how, how much more there would be um, if it wasn't for the ceramic coating. I'm not really willing to go off off trail yet because this is a road bed if you if you can't guess by what I've been riding here. The middle's kind of hard packed. I've been lucky in that there's still some soft stuff. It's up to my knees on the side and I know there's nothing underneath. I would not be going 
into anything like that yet because of stuff like that. So um, that's for later in the season around these parts. Uh, I do like like a lot of people really prefer kind of getting off the trail once uh, once it permits, but it's just not worth the risk at this time in the season. I stick to the trail until until I feel that it's pretty safe to go off and that I'm not going to be smacking into things. So anyway, hydrophobic, maybe, um, as far as stuff sticking or not sticking, obviously there's, you know, some, some snow sticking. Now again, uh, all the plastics were supposedly ceramic as well, or they were ceramic. I shouldn't say supposedly. So it's obviously still sticking. I just don't know if it's any better or um, if it made much difference that way, but it definitely, like I can say that it, I'd say it looked, it looked a little better with the ceramic. Um, and it's gonna add that UV protection, maybe a little bit more scra scratch protection. He said it was like three times, three times harder than a painted surface. Uh, as far as um, dealing with scratches. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you, uh, if you think it's worth it for yourself to get the ceramic, then go for it. Otherwise, I don't know, uh, it's, uh, it's obviously up to you, but um, uh, that's, that's that. It's uh, everybody's individual call. Okay, well, um, with that, I guess we'll uh, we'll see you next time. There's uh, some other stuff I've done that I haven't necessarily found much out about online, so uh, you can maybe look for some of that other stuff. I'm thinking I should throw some stuff up there about about some other things that I've uh, noticed that are a little sparse. So, and also I'm probably going to be throwing up a riding video from last last season if I haven't done that already, pertaining to a Wawa trip in Ontario that I did last year with some guys.